Hey there, happy Wanderer Wednesday. My name is Emma Estes and I'm a student in creative writing. Now, last semester in creative writing we had our first assignment, which was to relate ourselves to some object in nature, like a tree or a flower or the ocean. Well, me being basic, I chose a tree. So this, this assignment was called Metaphorical Me, but I actually titled it Trembling Timidness. So here you have it. This is the little surprise from last week. Trembling Timidness, written on September 5th, 2014, by E.E. E. Lewis. The blinds split as her fingers part them, eyes darting about rapidly, searching for her. Her. The simple being characterized by arms seeming to go on forever, an impressively good attitude, and a hidden support system. Emma Estes is a tree. As if to scratch the sky, seemingly fragile branches twist at odd angles, like a girl possessed. Never growing fatigued, never taking a break, the sapling stretches and contorts, struggling to obtain the goals deemed unattainable in life. Make a mark, make a change, and be happy. Much like Emma, the tree shares her desires with many. As if letting everyone know how thirsty she is for success will scare her away from failing. She will not fail. She will grow taller and stronger each day until determination radiates from her like heat from the sun. Waving with the wind, she seems to be on the verge of snapping in half. But she always recovers, returning to her usual position, unshaken. While on the inside she came this close to shattering, she persevered and came out better. E.E.'s experiences are relatable to her twin. Going with the flow becomes quite painful, even detrimental to her health. Time and time again, she is knocked down, face shoved in the dirt. Time and time again, she brushes herself off, allows a small smile to grace her face, and awaits the next challenge. The little tree in the backyard may seem pathetic to some. Scrawny, fragile trunk, carelessly attached to the ground. Ugly ropes choke her, snaking around her throat, driving themselves into the ground as if to keep her there, to keep her grounded, to keep her from soaring into the sky or throwing herself to the ground. Emma Estes takes care to surround herself with the less ambitious among her, for she needs their clear minds and unlit fires to keep her down here for just a little bit longer, to hold her down with their realistic ideas. She needs them until she's ready to fly. Differing physical features have nothing on the similar hearts inside them. Two girls with hearts beating in time with the same rhythm. The same thoughts. The same drive. The same spark. The same passion. The same fire. The same. Same. Me. Thank you. Alright you guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. It means the world. Tune in next week for Sever Me Slowly. I love you guys. Stay lost and forever wandering. Bye!